remember the time I found you naked in the, uh, the bathtub full of jello? I was hot and I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs>
I like your attitude. <laughs> you got a good, <laughs> you got a good got business plan, Five dollars for this slice. I mean, that place is awesome. Yeah. I, mean, I think. I don't even know. Like, it was awesome at the time. It's probably crap pizza. Right. I, I would imagine. I know that their cheese sauce on their fries has a really weird orange-yellow hue. You don't really see in nature, but it's still delicious. At the here's, time. here's how I think you can say if a pizza place, kind of like, like reading a bottle of wine that doesn't tell you what grapes Mm -hmm. It is or where right. it came from. Yeah. Right. If a pizza place serves nacho cheese fries, yeah, probably not the best pizza. Or but one of the best pizza. But two a.m. Yeah, fantastic. Best, best pizza. pizza. Let's not forget that place is also connected to the clam bar, and the same people that work there work at the pizza place. All right. Question three, Mr. Well, Perlman. Waffle. True or false? Yes. Cereal is a soup. Absolutely a soup. Everything you eat with a spoon out of a bowl is a soup. End of story. Mm. Uh, I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I can dig it. Okay, number four. Well, to follow oh. up with a question that you didn't ask, mm -hmm. uh, what happens to melted ice cream once ice cream is melted? If you're one of those people oh, can soup. actually... It's ice, right, cream it's ice cream soup. Ice cream soup. Right. Yeah. Of course. I, Absolutely. I think the, there you the, go. the defense rests. I like, I like that. Uh, DJ. Yes, sir. Gift cards. Great gift idea or lame gift idea? They are a terrible gift idea, except when you want to give somebody just cash. Um, then it becomes like I have I have uh, honor honorable niece, nieces. They're actually my cousin's kid, twin girls. I send them gift cards every single year because what I really want to do is give them a fifty dollar bill. But what I do is I also talk to their mom and I say like, what are they spending all their money on right now? Right. Like one of them just got a job in Target, so there's a, there's a Starbucks there, so. Fifty dollar gift card, like I know it's getting used, like immediately. Right, right, right. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's it's more it's more of a burden. It's kind of a pain in the ass actually to deal with gift cards. Um, although although Tony, my bass player, gives us gift cards to Sweetwater every year, and that shit goes like that's not that. bad. Yeah, that's not, not a bad. bad one. Yeah. But that's basically cash. Like, right. yeah. Yeah. are you going to break any strings or need headphones or anything soon? Right, right. you're in a band. Oh, have fun here. <laughs> then, Here's yeah. a twenty five dollar gift card. Right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. You should just send it to Dennis at Sweetwater and be like, just put this on DJ's account. Yeah. He'll be calling you by the end of the week or whatever. <laughs> so in that case, it's good. But like, if you're like, oh, he'll really like Subway, like a fifty dollar gift card to Subway. Like, unless that's a lot of, that's a lot of subs. That's just it mean. is a lot of subs. That's mean. But then you yeah, use somebody. it, and then you always end up with like a dollar fifteen on it, and like you know, right. the whole scam of it is like, what is it up to like a billion dollars a year unused? In unused gift cards, yeah. dollars like, and cents, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't like the big, big companies. That's why I don't mind the Visa ones, stuff oh, like those that. Those are okay because you can use it yeah. anywhere still. But they also but empty this, but, but they also tend to uh, reduce over time, which yes. really pisses me That's off. Bullshit. And a lot of gas stations won't take them anymore because it's a yeah. big like total scam, which is where I used to use those things. So now what I do, and this could be good for your, your viewers. Right. I don't know if everybody knows this particular life hack, but like what you do is when you get like a, a gift card like that, uh, what you can do is you can register it at Amazon as a credit card, as a mm -hmm. form of payment. And what you do is you immediately buy an Amazon gift card with it for like 50 bucks. And then that is in your account for 50 bucks. Now, if right. you're like me and live off of Amazon, right. then that shit just goes on. Question number five. Mm -hmm. What number is Mike thinking of? Uh, five. What's your go-to jukebox pick? Hmm. Um, I I usually like going for something like old school, like Candlebox or Fuel. But I will, like, if there's some Sabbath on there and it's not a Sabbath place, I will definitely go for that. Just, just darken the room just <laughs> right, a little bit. Right. Well, you know, you hear the start of War Pigs, like, ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 do, 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 do. Like everybody's like, right, right, right on. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> wrong with a little sad. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll do Rebel Nine. Rebel Nine's in a few, or was in a few jukeboxes, but hmm. tried to get that to happen for more of them. I've, I've found you in a couple of jukeboxes on the road. Yeah. When that's that's where we're, we're uh, weird. Places. I always look. I always look for uh, for my brethren. Yeah. Well, the digital them. one I thought was going to be a much easier. It is not. It is not. It, it is, is not. so much harder I to have get not into. Been able to get there. I remember Maybe exchanges in a few around the country yeah. too, but cannot get in the. But yeah, the ones. main one. I remember talking to uh, Nick from uh, Mother about that because he had landed that, and I was like, "Dude, man, like, how?" Right. And he's like, "I don't know." They just said yes, and I'm like, "You son of a bitch." 
Well, did you show them your abs, or was another picture of you in your firefight fired firefighter suit? Because that would have done it. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, I'm just going to go put out this burning building and save 20 lives. Do you mind putting my song in all your jukeboxes? Yes? Awesome. I did not try that. I was you like, should try that. Yo, I'm in I, know, I know firefighters. I would I would love to be the kind of person that would be a firefighter. I just... I mean, I would do the run into a burning building to save people. Like, I would do that. But I wouldn't do, like, the carry the hose and put it away afterward. All right. Uh, number seven... Lucky seven. Worthy this ahead. determines whether you get the bonus question. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> That's what you win. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Getting the bonus question. <laughs> Can I just get the bonus question? That's why it's called bonus. Oh, yeah. I get it now. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. How do you feel about garden gnomes? I don't mind them as long as they don't bring down the property values of the neighborhood. I think that's. I, I, I that's number one. I think that's number one. Uh, I think they're funny. I think they're kitschy. I think they're silly. Uh, I would never. Let's put it this way: I would never go buy one and install one in my yard. But I don't know that I would kick one out. I think I. I think if I was literally like pulling one out of my yard and bringing it to the garbage, I would feel terrible. So, mm. so you don't mind squatters. What you're I saying. don't. Okay. Right. Right. But it right. had to be there first. Right. It would have to. He would I don't want one just to sure. arrive either. Like, I don't want people watching this and be like, oh, cool. If the one was long, you can't throw it out. Funny that that bring, I can put out. Funny that you bring that yes. up. Yes. Because uh, I'm trying to spread this among all musicians that are on the show. Uh -huh. um, a uh, An act of gnoming bands that you're on the road with, uh, hiding garden gnomes hmm. in and amongst their stuff. So like in so their gear, in their gear, while they're on their, stage, they look over and all of a sudden there's a, there's a garden gnome. gnome. Yeah, like I think a travelocity guy. I, yeah. I think it's great. I think, I think it's, it's good. good. I think it's good. We'll have to try it if and when anybody ever goes back on the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with that said, I think we could cheer him up with the bonus question. I think oh, so. I get the bonus question. I think so. DJ, Pro. try and hide your excitement. I. I I'm, <laughs> I'm doing my best. It's very cool. You're doing a good job. I don't feel any I'll, excitement. Yeah, I'll be awake. <laughs> I'll be awake any minute now. I, I can feel it coming. It hasn't been a long day at all. It's all in my head. <laughs> so, DJ. Yes. Bacon. Mm, I do like bacon. Is it a topping? Hmm. Is it a side? A or is it a main course? A free? Well, main, main course, like part of the main course, like... Like I mean, you. Can, I asked the question. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to. That's the question. Can we get That's some the clarification? No, you cannot. Because I mean, honestly, like I, I cook with bacon as the star of food that I'm like. If I'm cooking bacon, is the most important thing that I'm putting in that meal. Mm -hmm. He's like, already right. answering uh -huh. this wrong. Uh -huh. Well, but hold he's on. fucking this up already. But hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'll give you an example. So, uh, for Father's Day, my daughter wanted wings from Wings Over. It was Father's Day, and yet she picked. Right. So. That's the thing. Because you're a good father. I'm a good father. It also didn't sound terrible to me. Right. That was cool. Uh, but I had waffle fries that I got, and we had extra waffle fries. So the next day, what I did is I cut up uh, two pieces of thick cooked bacon, and I put it in a pan, and I started to cook it. And just before it was done, I put all the leftover waffle fries on that skillet. Pro move. And let them like kind of just soak it all up. And then I flipped them all over so the bacon wouldn't burn, cooked them on the other side, and then I put some cheese on top. And then I took that skillet and I put it on the side. And then I put two sunny side eggs up on top of that. Side. Cut Let's both. Well, I, yeah, I cut them so then it drips and then it cooks in the heat of the bacon. Right. And the star of the whole thing was the bacon. So in that particular case, it was like the seasoning, the main course. But like everything else would not have been the same because the bacon had spread its magic to all corners of the course. So, so what's your answer? So what's your answer? Um, uh, I think it's the the star. What was what was the question? <laughs> what, were, what were the options? <laughs> is bacon? Is bacon an appetizer? No. No, no, no. Is a it topping? A, a topping? No. A side? No. Or a main course? Or a main course? Main course. I think you're still wrong. Right, Close. Sure the correct answer is all three. All three. Yeah. All three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There we go. Got to think outside the box. I did not see the box. A, all the the box. I do. Uh, but I don't often. I mean, I know I'm supposed to. I just, I just don't. I was trying to answer the question as honestly as possible. But honestly, you were asking me the question. I don't. I don't. I, I, he was asking. What are the right? options again? <laughs> so is it an is it an appetizer? No, 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 is, is it a topping? Is it a topping, topping a side, or a main, main course. course? Yeah, I don't consider it to be a topping at all. 
I mean, you could do bacon bits if you want to be like that guy. But like when it's like a bacon cheeseburger, like there's a reason it's first in the name. Right. You know what I mean? It's not a burger okay. cheese bacon. We did have this conversation with uh, somebody before that was talking about like if there's an item that's left off of your plate when bacon is supposed to be on the plate, is any other item as unfortunate to be missing as the bacon? And no, no. When you get like waffles and bacon and whatever, what's the most exciting thing you put on your plate? Fucking bacon. It's the bacon. Yeah. Right. The most exciting thing on that burger. But it's Fucking also bacon. again like whenever it's part of a meal, it's listed first. It's true. Right. That's that's like the most like bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Like yeah. it just like it. I, I don't. I don't. I don't see where it would be. A side. I mean, you can order it on the side, but even then, a plate of bacon is going to outshine everything else on the. Like, who? What's the first thing everybody reaches for? Oh, you got a plate of bacon. Let me help you out there. Like, you're gonna lose your fucking fingers. <laughs> like, you know, and oh, it's worth the risk. You know what I mean? Like, it's. I don't think it's a side. I don't think it's a topping. I think it is the main thing. Like, honestly, like even in a bacon. Well, cheeseburger, you know what? There you have it, folks. The judges and the esteemed board. Mm -hmm. There's an esteemed still, board. Still think well, you're wrong. No, I'm probably and wrong. I'm just justifying. You should probably mind. tell people where they can find you and the Revel. I am literally nines. right here right now. Like, okay. This is where you can find me. He lives in the present, which is good, which is exciting. I but did. you can find the Hard Rock Lunchbox when and where? Okay, you can find the Hard Rock Lunchbox Thursdays at noon. That's Eastern. And that's uh, you can hear it live uh, on uh, New Regal Radio, which is... 99wnrr.com. Yes. That's where you can join in the chat. I don't recommend that. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Every Thursday from 12 to 2. Every Thursday from Eastern 12 to 2. Eastern Standard Time. And then if you can't make that, there is a replay of it. You can always go to Hard Rock Lunchbox and you can hear that. The replay is not as good because I have to pull out all the unlicensed music. So it's not as fun. So you hear me talk about stuff that I didn't actually play. I hear it's quite frustrating. But if you miss the box, that's where it is. And... If you're super desperate to see what I look like when I'm talking in the first 20 minutes of the box, then you can check out the top 20, which is on Strangerhood TV uh, every Thursday morning at midnight. And where can they find Rebel 9? I have no idea. You can start at rebel9.com, but in terms of seeing us live, you might have to wait a while. But you can listen to them. Oh, yeah. Spotify, you can Apple to Music, uh, anywhere you get music, you can find it. We have a brand new record that uh, just came out. Uh, in December, uh, I guess that's not really just came out now, is it? Ge sure it is. Yeah, well, geologically speaking, yeah. it just came out. Absolutely. Right? Like, it came out sooner than the dinosaurs were gone. So exactly. it's mm -hmm. all relative. And that's on Spotify. It's actually doing really well on Spotify. Thank you for asking. And uh, Apple Music and all that stuff. Apple Music, we had uh, eight plays in St. Petersburg, Florida this week. Nice. nice. I have no idea why, but St. Petersburg, if you are listening, you are awesome. Spoiler alert, I don't think they are. And for all you that are but listening, you can maybe. come back on Monday and hear the whole interview. There's a good chance that this would be a complete tell. shit show. This was not the whole interview. already <laughs> tell where this is going because uh, this usually takes like 12 minutes. Oh. Yeah. My B. <laughs> <laughs> no, your G. Uh, your uh, G. Uh, oh. That's, I said it's uh, good. What do you think I meant? Uh, anyway. Uh, 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 <laughs> always. Remember, you must ask yourself one question. Yeah. Check your resources. What's your bacon? <laughs>